my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about drip courses now if you're building online courses you might be interested in creating a drip course there's a couple of different reasons why you would create a drip course and we're going to get into what a drip course is you might have an idea but let's get to that and let's explain what exactly do I mean by a drip course in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets right so a drip course we're going to get into talking about a drip course before we do that though I want to make sure to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you might want to go check out the video well you're going to want to go check out the video because I'm going to be sharing my screen and I'm going to be showing you uh how to create a drip course as well as not just explaining it right so you'll want to go to cis364.jsgagnon.com to go check out that video and that blog post all right so let's get right to it let me share my screen and show you a platform that I use uh screen there we go all right so Click eCourse is a platform that I'm going to be showing you how to create a drip course I'm going to explain to you what a drip course is I'm going to give you an example of one that I have already on the site so when you go to the site uh you end up on the about page which basically explains what the site can do for you as an affiliate as a marketer as a teacher as a student right so you can actually see uh how you can use the site mainly you can create your own site or your own school if you will that has just your courses or you can create courses and put them in uh, the marketplace so the marketplace basically is the list of courses that are on the platform and see them right here you can see the courses you can search for them based on categories you can put a, a search term to just find specific courses but right now I'm going to show you the drip course format or style what it looks like so if I go to this uh, this one uh, no not this one this one here bitcloud virtual summit is a, a a drip course or a summit that I put together that is automatically dripped to students based on the start of the well course it's a summit obviously it's not a course but it, it's basically videos that are shown on different days like for example right here we have day one videos right then we have day two videos then we have day three videos day four etc right so each day the new videos of that day become available uh, right now uh, I'm on the site as a non-logged in person you can see there's only five days of videos being shown uh, in the menu right you can see right here day one day two if I click on one of these you can see the which ones they are right that kind of thing if you mouse over them you can see what the description is of that particular one or if you click it right now it'll say you can't access it but it'll you can see that it's saying that you can't access it if I click on more you see the description you know that anyways that's just navigation of the site but what is what you know what is a drip course like I said it's a course that is a dripped over time to your student now there's two there's probably more or more but anyways there's two types of drip courses that I can kind of think of the first one is dripped based on a start date so you can have for example a summit like what I'm doing here so the start date would be in this case was July 12th and as the days progress there's more content that's added to the acts to to be accessible to anybody who's registered for the course right so in this case the way it works is that if you register to the course instead of getting this login to add course and you're not logged in you can't see it sorry this course not available whatever even though if it's free uh, it wants you to register which is uh, important if you're an affiliate you want to make sure that you know who is watching your courses right or your summit or whatever you want to call it depending on what you're doing uh, so that's why there's a requirement to register and even though it's free um, it allows you to know who is on the site so if I log in as me right the creator of the of the course or the summit it becomes now available and you can see all the days here right I'm going to pause this I don't want that so you can see all the days that are here days one to ten right and you can see them all down here and uh yeah so I'm gonna have to okay anyways so that's 
basically the courses are all you're showing you're seeing all of the lessons in the course if it's if you were to create say for example you were to create a course that you don't want people to go watching you know the fifth video before they've seen the other vid videos right you can create a course that is dripped based on the user's um registration date right so it would be basically if they register today then that means they don't get to see the fifth video until the fifth day or even the fifth week because you can set it based on multiple days you can set it on whichever way you want so I'm going to show you how to do that where are we now? we're five minutes in I'm going to show you how to create a course like this as well but before we do that let me kind of show you this one how it's set up so if I go to the details right here takes me to the actual description of the course you know the thumbnail of it the 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 summary the title and uh, the description that kind of stuff you can also manage deals and coupons but you can edit this course by clicking the edit here we go to that right and now we have the the different things you can edit right the type the seo the header code categories cover image price commission downloadable embedded player access sales and sites all these different things I don't know if we're going to go through them all but maybe maybe we can I mean once when we create a uh, drip course like you uh to show you how to create one we'll maybe go through that but for now I just want to show you that under type is where you choose whether it's a drip or not so the default is the default standard freestyle course where you would create a course then you have lessons in it and people can just access whichever lessons they want in whatever order they want whereas a drip content over time is you give it a start date you give it a start time so that time can either be your time zone time so if in the case of the bitlet virtual summit this one I did here the time is 8 a.m atlantic time which is 8 uh, 7 a.m eastern time so I'm got I've got each day starting at 7 a.m eastern time no matter where they are in the world it's going to be based on the eastern time time zone or if you want you can use time travel which basically means it'll be seven o'clock in their time zone on that on the well not on that I guess the first one would be on that date but then the next one would be the next day at that at that time in their time zone right you can choose that you can do that now the other thing that isn't here yet that will be here will be a user drip course which will be based on their registration uh date now that's not in the in there in here yet but it it might be there by the time you watch this video I don't know it depends on when you're seeing this but that will be a drip a user drip means um if the, if they register today then to, then the first video shows up today but then the next video shows up tomorrow or well you'll see in a minute you can set it to different days but basically it's based on their registrations you're gonna have so you could have people register every single day different days right even a month later they won't see that the 10 let's say you have 10 videos they won't see the 10 lessons until maybe 10 days or 10 weeks later depending on how you decide to drip the content right okay so that's now I'll just cancel this so back to the course itself now how do you choose the lesson so each of these lessons are videos that you can choose when they show up in the drip sequence so you can choose this is day one I decided that these videos here are available right away as soon as they register and even there some of these some of these are actually free that means you can actually access them even if you're not logged in um so you can choose to have it accessible to people who are not even logged in you can choose to have it accessible to people who are logged in and registered anytime you can choose to have it only available after a certain amount of time so this is kind of what I did here so these ones are available right away these ones were only available starting the start of the drip which meant July, in my case July 12th <clears throat> and then the next ones were a day later <clears throat> sorry a day later three days later four days later whatever so if I look at this one here for example I go to edit the, edit the lesson I scroll down here whoops get that out of there you can see right here it says drip start right drip start on day three but you can choose to make it whichever day you want 
up to we even up to a year right now I, I have it set up to up here but if there's ever anybody who wants more than that we can always add the feature but for now it's from the beginning of the of the of the course or the summit to 365 days later so you could have for example uh videos that show up every only every Friday right every week right and, and you just choose you know after seven days then after 14 days then after so whatever you want to choose right so you can decide when the video shows up the next thing you can say is the drip length <clears throat> so the drip length means how long is that video available once it's become available so the reason why I do that well you you can choose um to have the video available forever after they've after they've the drip time has hit right so for example say a video for day two shows up two days after the start of the course for one day or forever right you can choose that once it's visible to them they have access to it or it's only available for that one day like that's how we I did this virtual summit I want the video to be only available for that one day the next day I want them to not have access to it unless they pay for the extended access and that's how virtual summits that's how I've seen lots of virtual summits they were based on having free 24-hour access then after that you can't access it unless you pay for a VIP pass right so in this case this is um so the course is set up to have two prices now let's go back to the course here if I go back to the course oh actually right here and I edit the course I'm going to show you the pricing so under the pricing up here the price commission right there right there is two prices if it's a drip course there's going to be a drip price now you can choose to have your drip course 20 bucks and your full course VIP full full lifetime access to be you know uh, whatever it, it doesn't matter you choose the prices probably you want to have the full access to be more than the drip access but it's really up to you but I I don't even know if that would work properly but anyways that's not the point we if, if that's needed let me know uh we'll look into it but for now it's drip price has to be less than the full price I have just put at zero which means you can get the summit access in my case right this virtual summit for free right so when you go to the site let's see I have a I have a, another tab here this is the okay I'm already logged in so let's log out of here and log out log out log up over here <laughs> so now when I'm here and I'm not logged in I don't have access to it right it does show the different days and I'll explain to you why that's because those days are now made available in this in the summit so you can see that we're on day five now of the summit so that's why we're seeing days one to five right um I guess I could change that to say you know live start of June anyways whatever but that's uh, uh that's, that's another issue so as you can see right here it says watch now for these ones because they're available to even anybody who doesn't have it otherwise you can buy now which isn't really uh, relevant for this because we're not logged in but if I was to register let's say I register uh, a new account and we're cis364 are we I think so yeah okay I'm just going to register that as an account so this is kind of how you register an account you can either continue with Facebook um or you can just uh, enter an email and password if you enter an email password you got to go up accept that that um, in your email afterwards right so let me just go into my emails here and I got the account activation right here so I'm going to actually open this in so this is what you're going to get if you and use an email you need to activate your account otherwise you won't be able to log in if I just open in incognito it'll be in the same uh, place and it takes me to the the page I was on when I registered right so now I've got this in my well I don't have it yet I click on add to your library right because it's free now I have it in my library and now I can start the course right here right start the summit and as you can see I can see only up to day four right 
uh oh in this case because of time zone things and whatever but this is basically now I have access to day one to four and uh so what did I want to show you I'm trying to remember what I want to show you here sorry <laughs> I'm a little confused with myself I was over here showing you the all oh, right I just want to show you how to add it and that's as simple as that if it's free now once it's um once you have it you have access to the videos based on how it was created or configured as you can see in here we have uh not here as you can see in 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 in, in the lessons right in the lessons so if I go to this one day three okay so in the lesson itself there's a couple of things you have to whoops there's a couple of things you have to look at in terms of the access based on the day and all that kind of stuff so right here you can upload you can have just one video right one video that becomes available on, on the day of and is only available for 24 hours or forever right once they uh, register but you choose right here the pre-drip full access what that says is if they're before the date of the video like this one here is day three right if they're before that then what do you want do you want them to have access to it do you want them to see the main video do you want them to have another video because you can have up to four videos or do you want to have um no access right in my case I wanted no access before the drip day happened right so uh and then pre-drip pre-drip is the same thing with the full access oh sorry so the true pre-drip full access is when they bought the VIP pass what do I want them to have access when they have the VIP I, as a VIP I could have made it available everything as soon as they buy the the VIP pass right but because it's a virtual summit in this case I want the videos to only avail be available to them whether they paid for the VIP pass or not only after the day has passed right the pre-drip video is for the free or the drip access if it's not free the drip access what do I want them to see is it the no access or is it a certain video right then I have a post drip access in my case what I did is I created two minute trimmed videos of the main video so that after the day is over the next day right say they say we're day four right now well any of the day one two and three videos I want them to still kind of have an idea of what the topic's about so that they maybe are enticed to buy the pass so they see just the first minute and I did a minute 50 seconds right a minute uh, or something like that a two minute video of the video so that they can see a little bit of it but then they're it's cut off they can't see the rest unless they buy the VIP pass right so if I go to show you what that looks like if I go to uh this is me editing so I can't I can't do that from here I got to go into here so over here I'm this you know test user cis whatever user right uh as you can see all the videos are here except that and even the even this day two one here right day one day two right let's say this day one here day one welcome right it says four minutes 26 this was says 30 minutes 47 minutes right so if I go to here and I try to play it well first there's this little intro that shows up right then the video plays and as you can see it's only a minute 50 seconds right there right so it's only a minute 50 seconds that means that at the it'll only play a minute 50 so let's show you what I did at the end here I can't miss out rat how about yourself tell us a little bit about yourself your background how you got to where you are this was part of a video in the first ever BitCloud virtual summit so there so that's kind of how I did it I added this like trailer at the end of all these videos and I made it so that if they watch it at least they get a feel for the interview who the person is you know a little bit about what the start of the video is and but then if they want to see the rest they have to go and get the VIP pass right and that's kind of how I did that so that's what I did I, you don't have to do that and if you do a regular drip course like I said a regular drip course you can have whatever content you want so let's just go ahead and create a drip course so now I've got uh, a test account I've created an account here 
I want to create a, a new video a new if I go to say right now when I'm on the site right I can create a new course I can just click on plus right here and create a course so I'm going to create a drip course to show you how the process works so let's do that right now let's create one um and let's do that over here so if I do that like that uh right so we got to press that little plus thing uh let me just right so if I click on here and I create a new course I click on course then I load up the course page for a new course so let's just call this uh, cis364 test course test drip course let's just say test drip course okay so then you have a summary so the summary is just a little bit of blurb about the course or the in this case if it's a drip or a summit right so first you say uh learn about how how to create a drip course so uh the details is going to be a little bit more of a, a description of the of what's in here in this course we will show you how to create a drip course or a virtual virtual summit we also will cover what it is and why you want to use it so let's say I was to create a course that would be you know one description footer can be something uh, additional stuff you want to put underneath the the main page before the comments on the page so let's just say I can go down here I can say next over here or I can go straight to these different things directly so I'm going to go to type um obviously it's a drip course so we want to make it drip content over time right so I want to set a start date in this case like I said there isn't a student registration um drip type yet but that's coming right we're going to do that we're going to do that uh in it might be there by the time you watch this but let's just give it a start date 2021 07 let's say uh 15 and let's say 0 6 a.m or let's make it uh 3 a.m why not right okay so now that that means that the course will start on the 15th which is in as as of right now I'm recording on this date at 3 a.m you can make it you know 7 a.m or whatever you want uh depending on your choice you can make it zero which would be midnight obviously right okay so next uh invalid date format whoops 2021 did I break something here 07 15. next hmm I guess I broke something here let me just go back here summary let's go to my courses I must let, I'll have to look at that I'm just going back to the edit type trip 2021 that is valid and then zero eight next okay let me check that I'll be right back all right so yeah so uh, you put the start date here the start time and then you click on next then the next part is search engine keywords hashtags where this is where you would put um information for SEO and for hashtags so whatever you put in here shows up in the um SEO of your a page of your course right whenever you share the course it'll be in there so that's important if you're building a brand online you want to make sure you uh, take advantage of SEO search engine capabilities under header code you can put things like a conversion bot ID you can put you know your Google tags uh header uh you can either put it the footer the header or the header code and this is more advanced stuff right then under categories you want to choose what is your main category of your course right this is going to be affiliate marketing or whatever you want I'm just going to put clicky course here put blogging uh clicky course uh, course creation content creation I'm going to put uh, 
So you can click on it if you want, right? You click on it to activate it and then unclick it. I, I probably should fix the colors on this, but um master of simple and then you just click on the ad it adds them to the to this here click on next that saves the categories over here you want to have a cover image so I'm just going to go put the cover image of the virtual summit as well right so I've got this for example I click on next it'll upload the image then I choose a price so let's say I want to have the the full x let's say let's say this is a drip a drip course that um there is not going to be a full access versus us so you can have a hundred dollars and put a hundred dollars in both you can give a commission anybody who refers your course or tries or or promotes your course you can give them a commission if people that they refer to buys it right so you can make it 50 percent 20 percent 25 you know uh 33 50 you can even make it you know 80 percent if you want right and then uh then the access is where you decide whether people can see it yet while you're editing the course creating the course you probably don't want it access still not ready you can make it unlisted if you want your friends to access it but you don't want it to show up in the marketplace otherwise these three other options are based on it being in the marketplace um to either logged in users or public access right so just leave it there for now allow comments allows you to choose whether people can comment on your course or not typically you want to leave that at yet at yes uh and uh finally the last part is a sales page you don't need that um but that's uh, basically it so I click on done right here and now we have this test drip course which has the same image of the other one right it says a hundred dollars is how much it is to access it and then you just basically have some information here about the course the price of it how many people added to their cart how many sales how many gross income how much how much fees that kind of stuff uh is all shown on the side there right okay so now you have your course created but now you don't have any lessons right so now what you want to do is you want to add lessons either by pressing the plus here and saying lesson and then you create a new lesson now in the free account on Clicky Course, you uh, can only put in URLs for YouTube, right? You can't upload your own videos. You can do that in the other uh, plans where you pay a monthly fee. But for now, let's just do that. Let's just do a, let me go over here to my YouTube channel. And let me just, you know, put in some, I don't know if I'm logged in here. Yeah, let me just put in some of these, this short video here, for example, right? I'm just gonna take this video gonna share get shareable link well actually let's make a longer one let's make this one let's use this one get shareable link so let's make this video here one of the videos here I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna make okay so here's the thing so in this is a this is a drip course so what do I want to do if I give them full access do I want them to have access to this one video or not if I don't give them full access uh, as a registrant of the trip what do I want to do so then there's you decide how you want to do it. when does this start this is going to be number one I want to enter my own details so I'm going to call this uh day one intro right so by the way one of the things about the platform is if you put a a, a vertical bar right it'll split this and assume that there's going to be more than one entry with this so you can put lesson or you can put course info or whatever you want to do in here you can call this introduction introduction and then uh you know what is drip course right for example like this so that will make this be the pull down in the menu I'll show you what I mean by that I'm just gonna do that this this explains what a drip course is right uh I'm just going to save that like this and it's going to uh go and get the video uh out of YouTube or at least it's going to get the thumbnail out there and it's going to show the uh, what it got and if I go back to the course now now we have one lesson in the course which is right here right 44 minute uh lesson now it's accessible on day one if I want to have another one I can do here lesson and then I can put in a day well actually actually before I do that I wanted to show you here if I go back to the course right 
I uh, you can see right here there's um I can show menu right now there's no menu on the side if I click on show menu that will make this course access visible with a menu like this where you see introduction information is this and then details is this page goes back to that and this pull down these pull downs that are here are going to be the menu entries like if I show you this one right this course here there's day one day four right there they have these different parts as you can see and if I go show you the where was that no it was over here uh, so this one here right you can see these are all there but if I look at these you can see this one says day one with a vertical bar then Darisha one day one Nisharal right navigating day two navigating so because it says day two with a vertical pipe and this one says day two with a vertical part and this one say day two with a and then day three that's why we have these three entries in the menu of day two so if you see day two I have these three entries right one two three and that's because in my lessons I have three of them that have day two with a pipe so day one with a pipe day two with a pipe day three with a pipe that's kind of how you organize your now if you don't have any pipes in your uh, lessons then they're just going to show up as lessons it'll say lessons and then you'll down arrow will be all your lessons there right which could be okay if you have only five lessons or something right that might be all you care about and that's fine uh so that's another thing um okay so I'm just trying to see if how much more do we need to so afterwards you create a second lesson now by the way you you can access let me move my uh my webcam out of the way a bit here move it on the other side down the bottom on this side you're going to see there's a there's a little question mark video if you click on that there is going to be a video there's going to be a video that's going to automatically play that that is relevant to the, the page you're on so since we're creating a course this is a video that shows you how to create a course so it'll be the basics of creating a course which you can go through you can make this full screen by clicking on this little thing that makes it full screen right um and you can even make it a what they call picture in picture if you click on picture in picture right here it'll allow you to move it around on your screen and even resize it a bit right so you can resize and move it around so you can play this right so now you can see that process so that's basically one of the other things you can do on here uh what's this you can also like it says right here right all right so once you go anyways any all right so once let's close that okay so that's the training videos on different pages you might have different ones but you might want to go check that out to see how to create a course the other option if you go to the courses tab right here and you select the category click e-course there's going to be one course right here right now they're probably going to be adding some more there's actually a course on creating your first course if I go here it's actually free I can add this to my library and now I can access this and watch it basically shows how to corner icons how to register before you can upload a video a course is not uh, any use without a lesson adding a new file let's talk basic navigation setting up your account for success and then I conclusion I guess I should have made this conclusion it says new lesson <laughs> but um yeah so that's the the how to create a course on clicky course so the drip course is not covered in this because that was before we had the drip course that's why I did this on drip courses hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.